Welcome everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be playing Miasma Chronicles. It's actually pretty funny. Um, Dr. Loco gifted me this game, thank you very much for that. And before he gifted me this game, I wasn't even aware of it. And apparently it was made by the same developers that did Mutant Year Zero. So that's going to be interesting. Choose difficulty. Narrative for players who want to experience the world and story without too much challenge. Oh, music's very loud. Hold on. I like the music, but... Um, very loud. Let's try this. No, yes, no! I would like to keep... <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I like the stuff in the background. Uh, okay, then we've got standard for those who play games regularly but are new to the tactical genre. Extreme for fans of our previous titles, for those already very familiar with Miasma Chronicles gameplay. And warning, this is our version of Iron Man Alpha Editor. Only choose this difficulty if you are prepared to live with your mistakes. Well, I live with my mistakes every day, but I'm not prepared to live with them. I'll just do standard. Choose game mode. Light tactical, full tactical. Hit chances for weapons are more predictable. Flanking enemies is always a guaranteed hit. Covers always grant the same bonuses, regardless of distance. And full tactical. Rest predictable experience with more tension. Chances to hit in combat are much less reliable. I actually really like this. Um, I love the fact that they give you a choice. I like full tactical. That would be interesting. Even though it can be quite frustrating as well. But this is cool. I love that choice. You get a difficulty and then sort of combat tactical random generation because a lot of the times people will complain about uh random randomness in these types of things chronicle one somewhere in kentucky 140 years after the collapse of the great stability so post-apocalyptic i like post-apocalyptic holy moly what is that Looks cool. I can do this. I can do this. Remember your training. Keep on straight. Keep a level. Don't do any hand jazz. Yeah, Diggs. Got it. You sure? She breaks above 100, so don't. Diggs, the gloves reading my brain waves. I gotta keep my mind blank. Oh, right, right. Breaking through a giant miasma wall. Don't need me yet. <laughs> Is that? 37. Better get started on 38. Uh, how you think 38 is gonna be different than 37? Mama gave me this glove for a reason. As long as she's on the other side of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't quitting. We'll find a little brother. We'll find her. Interesting. Oh, wow. This place is a lot crazier than I thought it was. My asthma's kicking up. Let's get back to town. Fix this glove. My asthma wall. It looks cool. I'm guessing that's going to be a safe point. Ooh, Can't invest. get through the wall with a broken glove. Yeah, I'm guessing that's going to be. Oh, why are we? Why are we crouching? I didn't do that. Oops. I press C. Party screen. The party screen shows the current status of the heroes in your party. Within the screen, you can equip and modify weapons, items, and miasma powers. You can also open each hero's skill deck. Later in the game, you will be able to swap out party members. Nice. We're gonna check that out later. 
So I don't know. Oh, you press left mouse button. I see. Okay. Is that a... That's a cyber truck. <laughs> uh, it still looks ugly even in the game. <laughs> That's funny though. I like that. That police car is cool looking. So clearly this was some sort of a futuristic city. Um, what is going on? R to use the pulse mapper. Uh, here's the quickest way home. Okay. That looks cool though. So what is this miasma? Is it like um, gray matter? Is it called gray matter? I, I forgot. When the nanobots are made to self-replicate and then they just run away and, you know, keep consuming matter and self-replicating. Is it called a... Is it called gray matter? I can't remember what it is. Ooh, pick up. What is that? Plastic. Sweet. Oh, you can also How hide. about we take a look around? Some good loot in these parts. So you can hide, but... What about... What about our robot guy friend? Does this also show... Items? I don't think it does. It looks cool, though. More plastic. Can we fall down? No. Wait, what does this say? Knoxville exit. Oh, these are like digital. And they're still kind of working. West East Detroit. It looks cool. That's a lot of Dude, miasma. Look. And miasma sure is angry. Swirling like a whirlpool. Beautiful. Don't go near it. Okay. There's surely gonna be items here. Oh, there we go. Plastic, more plastic. Man, I'm excited about this. It's a turn-based tactical game, a strategy game. So don't go near it. What? What if I do go near it? Probably not a good idea. Look at what it did. And apparently we need the glove for that. So do we go forward over there or do I go over to the right? Okay, so we go here first because I want to explore everything and get all the items. This looks like an area where you would fight. I'm guessing it will be later on when we get the glove and we can actually interact with that miasma. Plastic. I do have to say, items are pretty difficult to spot, though, unless you get close to them. Evacuation notice. Uh -huh. Barrier still active. We can't get through here. You are hereby notified. Your. Oh my God! Did they seriously do that? You are hereby notified. Your. <laughs> your in a man. Oh my God! They. <laughs> they misspelled. You are. Your. You're in a mandatory evacuation area and are instructed to leave immediately to a non-evacuation zone. Temporary shelters will be provided. So what happens? What is this miasma? I'm sure there's items over here as well. Another cyber truck. So what does happen if we get close? I don't know, but he starts walking slowly, so I'm guessing it either kills you immediately or hurts you. Do we have health? We've got level up there and 60p, probably some sort of credits. What's up with these people? What happened to them? Great stability. Miasma wall. I humbly accept this esteemed peace prize, not for myself, but for the pioneering spirit of all Americans. We have righted the wrongs of our forefathers, healed the scars that divided us, put an end to hunger and war, a renaissance for humankind, a great stability. Now let us work together to share this American paradise with the whole world. Invade! A great stability. Uh, heroes... Every day, Elvis tries to blast through the impenetrable miasma wall using the explosive power of the mysterious magical glove. Magical? His mother waits for him on the other side, or so he thinks. Ten years ago, she gave Elvis the magic glove in a cryptic challenge. Learn to master the glove, blast through the wall, and find me once again. There, I will tell you who you really are. 
Brave, young, inexperienced, Elvis won't stop until he blasts through the wall and unravels his past. But little does he know his past will unravel him. Elvis's big brother, trusted protector and partner in crime, with a strength of ten men and a heart bigger than the whole town. He's the only family Elvis has got, but he's a machine, a tough old excavator bot on his last legs. The night Elvis's mother disappeared and left her boy alone, she reprogrammed Diggs to help mold the boy into a man. For the last ten years, Diggs' style of uh, mentoring has been questionable, leading Elvis through stupid risks, deadly firefights and daring adventures, having the time of his life all the way. Bold, daring, optimistic, Diggs is a robot overflowing with humanity, but in a town where machines are treated like machines, is there a place out there where he can feel at home? Oh. Miasma Wall. Bisected by the large black mass known only as the Miasma Wall, New Lexington was the largest city in the state of Kentucky, a haven for technological talent and innovation, often referred to as the Silicon Valley of the East. The name New Lexington was coined after the entire original city of Lexington was sealed off and made into a museum. <laughs> <coughs> Franchise towns. Oh wow, there's a lot of stuff. Plastic. Oh, plastic is currency. Miasma-free plastic is an accepted currency throughout the new America. Versatile, malleable, and rare, since miasma tends to corrupt any plastic it touches. Ah... Malevolent energy covering America, poisoning nature and twisting reality. What is the miasma? No one really knows. It's always been here, but it's plain to see it shouldn't be here. No records of it, its existence can be found before the cataclysm known as the Collapse. Editor War 30 years ago, the editors waged an all-out assault on the family's stronghold, the first factory. The editors were defeated, interrogated, and tortured. The few remaining editors eventually died alone in the wilderness, shunned by towns who feared what the family would do to collaborators. Who are they? Okay. The editors. Heroes who once roamed America, protecting the weak, connecting the separated, and shining light into the first family's darkness until the family hunted them to extinction. They used the tech-boosted gloves linked to their brainwaves and tuned the miasma to their will. So, we are an editor. We can already see that, and our mother is an editor. Okay. Tutorials, pulse mapper, status effect, glossary. We'll, we'll see that as we go. Let's, let's play some. So, that's plastic up there. Okay. Gotta find Mama. Sick of being alone. Just want some family. What? You got your family right here. Me. Yeah, but Diggs, you're a... Oh, what? <laughs> uh... Kick-ass brother. The best brother I could ever have. Ah, you know it. So the question is, does he understand that he's a robot, or... Or not? Um... So can we find the key card for that bank here? Oh, we can go up as well. Okay, okay. Let's go down here first. The only problem I have, the camera you can move, but you cannot tilt it. It's kind of annoying. Reconstructed voicemail. Jen? Jen, you there? Oh, we cannot play these. Oh, we can. Jen. Jen. Ah, but you have to do it there. Damn it. How do I... Backpack screen. This is your party's backpack. It's a shared inventory which shows everything the party is carrying. Whilst this is mostly used for informational purposes, you can use some consumables such as medipads from within the screen. Um, uh, codex. No, not tutorials. Uh, archive. There. Jen! Jen, you there? It's Tommy. Hope to hell you get this message in time. I got the kids. They're shaking up, but doing okay. And is asking where mommy is. I'm telling her you're coming soon. And, uh, well, Max is completely obsessed with his toys, so good call on those. Listen, don't come to the bridge. Police are blocking the roads because, well, there are no roads. Meet me back at your uncle's place. Kids are safe. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, just one more thing. I need you. Okay, so that's before the collapse, I guess. Plastic. Excellent. No key card, though. No key card to find. I love the post-apocalyptic stuff, though. It looks really cool. Alright, let's go upstairs. Can I pick it up through the wall? No. 
That would be cheating. There's some purple stuff there, though. Come on, digs. So what do we got here? I'm expecting combat any time now. Well, maybe Must not in this. Some meeting. Yikes. So I guess this miasma also did this to all the people. It just sort of froze them in place in time. Ooh. Peace forever. Consider for a moment a world without want. A world without war. Fifty years ago, this was only a dream. Now, this is our reality. A renaissance for humankind. We call it the Great Stability. We are truly blessed to live in this age. Yes, yes we are. And I am your master. With an iron fist. Bank security pass. There we go. A key card with Bank of New America written in printed text. Safe house has been hand scratched onto the surface. So safe house. Look at that table. That looks really cool. Oh, that hologram uh, is still working over there. I wonder how some of this stuff is still powered. Oh, nice. You can just jump down like this. Excellent. Okay. Nice. So what do we got? We got some plastic. We got more plastic. No. Pulling out. Found a decent spot to hole up. Working security at the door. Nice view of the city. Should be safe from the collectors until I make a run for the scar. And it's just a game of waiting for the rest of the editors. If they make it, only time will tell. <clears throat> plastic, plastic, excellent. And what is this? Oh, range buddy. Scope. Extends weapon range by 20%. Weapon mods can be attached to any weapon in the upgrade screen. A budget scope from Dormart's tactical home security range. Despite age and its exterior condition, it's still going strong and will give you a reasonable range boost when applied to a weapon. A faded promotional label reads, Great against porch pirates! <clears throat> You've acquired a weapon mod. You can attach weapon mods via the C party screen by selecting a weapon and then pressing the modify button. Okay, let's do that immediately. Now the question is, we both have the same weapon, but who is more accurate? Does that matter or is that dependent on the weapon itself? I don't know. Uh, so let's attach it here. Special adds 10% crit chance when flanking. Alright, so modify. I'm assuming we can just take this off whenever, whenever we want. Unequip. Yeah, there we go. Okay, excellent. So 20%. So this is uh, extra range now. Nice. I'm assuming it's best to give it to Elvis because, well, Diggs is a robot and he's, uh, I mean, he's the best kick-ass brother one could hope for. So he's, um, you know, a lot beefier. Alright, so let's check everything here. Of the environment, I really do. I just wish I could till the camera. Look at that. Oh man, I would love this as a survival game in this world. Uh, and in VR. And with monsters and stuff, that would be awesome. Alright, uh, we've checked this. Let's keep going, because I think there's another level. Yep. Come on, digs. Hmm. Pick up. Plastic, 30. Perfect world. Edison technology has opened the door to a world without hunger. Our food production has become greener than ever. Insect farms absorbing CO2. Seaweed beds eating and digesting microplastics. And AUs farming in hostile climates. Welcome to the Age of Unlimited. Oh, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> so we're up here. Alright. Ah, that's gonna be a fight, isn't it? No? No! My baby! My baby! Now, was that an actual sound, or was that an echo of the past? From the miasma? That's the question. Ah, there's a fight. 
He's got a bow. <clears throat> I see it, but I don't believe it. What are those things? Uh, frogs. Frogs walking on two legs, murdering people. Those are not animals. Not people, neither. They're monsters. Goddamn monsters. What are they doing with... Wait. Hold on. That's the Vader family. Please! Don't do it! No! No! That was the Vader family. We gotta deal with these assholes. We don't fight anything we don't understand. We're going home. Hey, you are aware the only way home is through them? Shit. Hey, get Tiger tough, little brother. We about to throw down. Yeah, that's gonna be exciting. So we can... Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna sneak up to Dicks, them. These things are freaking huge. Hey, you wanna get back to town? Pull that trigger. Tiger tough. Come on. Okay, Tiger tough. Combat is turn-based. I love it. My favorite. Uh, at the start of each turn, you get two action points per hero. So those are those. <clears throat> okay, shoot. That's 98% and 15 crits. Oh, press uh, spacebar to shoot the enemy. Okay, this is the tutorial section. I can't really do anything else. I think you should run. What do you think? Press E to go to the next target. So this is 82 and this is 78. Q to go to the previous target. There we go. And now shoot the selected target. So we can still do this. Can I do anything else? No. Oh, they do speak, actually. Missed. Good. I'm gonna flank him. Ow. Leg. Shit, they're running for cover. Partial cover. Shoot them anyway. You might get lucky. Nah, luck never liked me that much. <laughs> me neither. Enemies in partial cover give you a minus 35% chance penalty to shoot them. Enemies in full cover give you a 75% chance to penalty to shoot them. Covers are only effective from the front. Makes sense. Shoot the selected target. No, I want to move. But I can't. Okay. Stay tough, tiger tough. Can I... Can I not move? Oh, wait a second. No, it doesn't give me the option. Nice. Down for the count. You, my friend, are pure dynamite. What's he doing? That was a sprint. And he can still attack. Ow! Not good. One left. But now he's behind full cover. Can't get a clean shot. We can flank him. Flank the bastard. Hit him from the side. Move to the side or behind an enemy to co uh, cover to flank them. Flanking an enemy gives you a 0% hit chance penalty. Sniper rifles have a higher hit chance at long range, while assault rifle, uh, rifles have a higher hit chance at short ranges. And of course, it, you know, that's cool. That makes uh, sense. The hit chance of bouncers and shotguns are unaffected by range. What, shotguns don't care? Okay. Interesting. Why would you use anything but shotguns then? I mean, probably because of the low range. Out of reach. No, we're gonna attack. You alive? Yeah. Bit -bit -bit. I think so. You? Rocking and rolling. We made these boys extinct. I don't think so. Look. Uh oh. Find some cover when the time's right. Flank them. Oh, we're gonna sneak up on them? No. They look pretty cool. Use cover to avoid getting hit by enemy fire. The same rules apply for your squad as for the enemy. See, this is the kind of... Um, this is the kind of tutorials I really like. Uh, short, to the point, but also sort of, you know, while you do it. So, the, the tutorials I really hate the most are the ones that start the game and then give you 20 pages of just text and maybe a couple pictures for you to go through. 
Um, so none of this stuff here is really good. I think we'll need to dash first, but they can they can definitely flank us there. So not the best, but I think dashing right now would be best. Oh, we're at full health. Okay. Uh, I could go over here, but Diggs is going to be exposed. 61, and that guy is definitely going to flank Diggs. You know what? Music is really quiet now. And it's pretty good as far as I can hear it. Um, 61%. I mean, Diggs is going to be fine, right? Get him. Nice, lucky shot. Oh, he's going to flank him as well. Not good. But he didn't shoot. What? Neither of them shot. Interesting. So I've got here. I've got 100%, but of course I won't kill him. Oh, it's not his turn. Um, hmm. 82%. Let's, let's be a little careful. Double XP AP restored. Oh, it was a critical kill. And AP has been restored. Nice. We only have one more AP, though. 23. Uh, there's no Overwatch as far as I can see. 28%. I mean, might as well. I could have um, dashed this. Oh, well, here we go. What? Oh, wait. I didn't. Did you say my head hurts? Something like on the outside? Uh, I can't shoot him from here. No overwatch. I need overwatch. Reload. Oh, it's silent, it says. Interesting. Shoot the selected targets. Move. I mean, let's reload them. What kind of cover is that? I can't shoot him from here. At all. Alright, Elvis. We got an 85% chance to hit. Nice. Defeat the monsters. Tadpole Scout. Young grabber warriors need time to learn about the world and which tactics to employ on the battlefield. Sadly for them, the first lesson can also be the final lesson. Can leap up one level without the need for ladders. Interesting. Oh, factions. Grabbers. Amphibians mutated by the miasma into giant vicious killers. The beasts seem adept at combat and obsessed with destroying human life. They've been seem, uh, seen dangerously close to the outskirts of sedentary. Interesting. We've already seen all this. Alright, uh, we cannot loot them. You hear that? More frogs looking for their buddies. Uh oh. When we just killed their buddies. We gotta get back to town now. That's not good. Hate seeing the Vodder family rotten out here. Damn frog monsters. Is this some sick joke? Watch your anger, Elvis. We should go. We gotta get these bodies back home. Yeah, we'll come back later. How? How are we gonna... I mean, can Diggs just carry them all? Sedentary. There we go. Let's go. Yes, travel to the next location. You so don't know. What's making the miasma angry, do you? 
To know what's making the miasma angry, you have to know what miasma is, what it really is. And you have no idea. At least you know how to fear it. That's good. You see it turn air into poison, nature into nightmares, frogs into monsters. You know you can't escape it. The miasma surrounds your town like an ocean surrounds a lonely island. And it's spreading across America, twisting this once great nation into a lethal wasteland. So don't leave. Stay safe and sedentary. A dull, it. colorless mining settlement you've lived in your whole life. Put your head down. Work hard. Provide the gold that feeds America's rulers, the first family. Uh. And pray the miasma's anger doesn't wipe your town off the map. No one here is brave enough to conquer their fear or create their destiny. Except you, Elvis. With your big brother, Diggs, and years of hard work, you've harnessed your glove's power and now you want to find me. But you still don't know what it really is, do you? I could tell you. The revelations must be earned. So a secret, it shall remain. Maybe in the future, you will be strong enough to break through the wall and find me. And if you do, maybe I will tell you my secret. But we both know you'll die along the way. Because between me and you, Lies the miasma. Um, thanks, Mom. That wasn't very nice of her. <laughs> we both know you'll die, so I won't tell you my secrets. Bye. Well, I'm quite intrigued by the world and the monsters and everything. So it's sedentary, not sedentary. There's no I in there. <laughs> Real monsters. We got to tell the mayor about these frog monsters. I hate frog monsters. So, anyway. Sedentary. Thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to Dr. Loco for gifting me. This is going to be quite interesting. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think about the game so far. I know we've only scratched the surface, really, or barely even that. Um, a big thank you to all of my Patreons for your support. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.